Well, hello again, everybody. How you doing? Welcome back to more Art with Mr. Johnson. Well, this time we're going to do a project that's a little bit trickier. Not that hard. I think anybody can do it if you try. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So, a little bit harder than our sailboat that we just did a minute ago. But not that hard. We're going to do a cityscape with water and sun in the background. I put in these little curly waves. They look kind of silly. If that's a little tricky for you, don't worry about it. Just make the wavy lines of the water. If you want to try the little curly waves, I'll show you how to do that first. What are you going to need? As always, a work mat, piece of paper, Sharpie or pencil, and crayons. Now, Remember, if I go too fast, what do you do? Pause the video or rewind it. That way you can catch up if I'm going too fast or you wanna just see what I did. All right, give me just a second to get ready. We'll get started. See you in a minute. All right, welcome back. Here we go. You can't see me, but I can see you. How you doing? So make sure you have your Sharpie. So we're gonna make these little curly Q waves. First, like I said, if you want to skip this part, just hang on and I'll show you what to do after that. But to do these little funny waves, here's your paper about halfway. I'm going to come a little bit lower than half and a little bit more on the half over here. So just put your Sharpie down and we're going to make a pretty big spiral. and then make some waves to the edge of the paper. Then go back here to where we started from again and just trace around. Looks like a snail. And then Oh, I hadn't done that on the other one. That might come out kind of cool. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll do a smaller one right here. So make a dot, make a spiral. Off to the edge and then go back. Oop, kind of skinny. And take that one that way. Then we'll connect it I know it looks weird right now. Don't worry about it. It's gonna look cool. And then we'll just do the same little waves underneath Now if that was too tricky for you all you really have to do is Or you don't want to do those waves just same thing about halfway down all right, the craziest thing just happened. While I was making the video, because I'm making this on my iPhone, the phone rang. I don't know who's calling me, but the phone rang in the middle of my art project, and it got cut off. So I'm gonna do a little bit of catch-up work to show you what I did. So, I said if you don't wanna have those curly waves, you can just make regular waves. So about halfway, just up and down, up and down, all the way across the paper. And then we'll do about one or two more, same thing. If it's not exactly perfect, that's fine. It actually looks better if it's not exactly the same. Get another little one down here. Get our waves. All right, now, if you are gonna do this one, just take your dark blue, your light blue, and maybe one of your greens, and color this all in, dark blue, light blue, green, your choice. Just use one any of these colors. Now let me show you what happened on our other one. I recorded this whole thing of me coloring, but we lost it all. So I'm just gonna show you what I did. So I came in here, actually I used the light blue, on my first curly cue where the dot was, and I did this light blue. I colored that all in, all the way around around, 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 all colored. 
Then I came down and I had this whole big wave. So I colored that whole big wave light blue. Then I did the rest of that curly wave dark blue. Now it's gonna take you a long time to do this. It took me forever. That's why I'm not doing it again. So after I'm done explaining to it, pause the video and do your coloring work and then come back in when you're all finished. For the other side, I did the same thing with the dark green and the light green. Dark green here. Now when I got up here, it was weird because there was no, no more lines. That was my fault when I drew this. I could go back, maybe I will do that, and with the Sharpie, draw some more waves. I think I will, because I colored it in, and I was laughing because that looks like grass. And I don't want it to look like grass, so I'm going to just do another wave here. So then, it will make sense. So I'll go back in with my dark green, and I'll fill that in. Yeah, because I was wondering, what should I do about that? That looks weird. So like I always say, when you make a mistake, it's a great opportunity to just go back and fix it. And a lot of times, fixing it looks so much better. And that's just what happened with mine. I was trying to figure out, what should I do about that green that looks like grass? So then I put those new lines in, and now it makes perfect sense what I'm doing. Then... I went with light green and I filled in this part. And then since I had an empty space over here, I filled that in with the light green. Then for the bottom piece, this was not colored. So I could just choose whatever. So I just chose dark blue. If you want to use a light green or a dark green, that's fine. Go for it. All right. So now we're done with our water. And now we want to come in and we want to add the buildings. Buildings, super easy. They're just basically rectangles, what we're going to use with our Sharpie. Don't go all the way up to the top because I want to leave some space for the sun or the sky. So just start at the edge, come in, horizontal line, and then a vertical line straight down. There's our first building. We can go in and put some rectangles for windows. These do not have to be perfectly in line because we're going to draw a lot of buildings and you're going to get really tired of drawing all these rectangles. So then all the buildings are going to be touching. So I'm going to make this one a little bit higher. I'm going to come off. I can make it a little wider. And so it looks like the buildings are in the water, but they're really not, because that's like the, the ground is up here. This is what we call the foreground. This is in front. This is the background. So the, the buildings are not in the water, but it looks like that from far away. So I'm gonna make some just big windows on this one. Then maybe I'll make a shorter building here. And I'll make Another one here. And you know what you can do is kind of fun is you can make like a triangle roof. And I'll make another one. Now I'm gonna leave this middle part here, not too much going on because I'm gonna go ahead and put my sun right there. So I'm gonna make these ones in the middle, not very tall buildings. So then I can have my sun. Maybe make one more shorter one. Then for the edges, I'm gonna go back up to taller buildings. I'll make another triangle roof. I'll just make one big one. I'm getting tired. I'll put a little roof back there. All right, now we're gonna go back and put details. We're gonna put windows, doors, little decorations. Now, when you come back in to color this, I'm gonna give you a little hint right now. If you leave the windows white on the inside, it looks like light's coming through. If you color over them, that's fine too. If you color them black, it looks like the lights are off. 
You know what I'm gonna do for this one? I'm gonna just make a little lines across. Sometimes you see little weird buildings like that. Just so I mix it up so it's not all the same on every building. I'm gonna pull a chimney up here. All right, let me make some more stuff. Ooh, triangle windows. <laughs> See what I say about you're gonna get bored of drawing windows after a while. So just have fun. They don't need to be perfect. It actually, I think it makes your picture more interesting when it's all kinds of different shapes. All right, let's see. I'll put some windows and doors up there. I'll put a big long window here. A smaller one, one right there, and one right there. All right, pretty easy. Now I'm gonna make a rainbow for the top of the sun. This is gonna be like the sun is going down, so the sun is really big in the sky. It never looks like this for real. I've never seen this picture in my life, except in my imagination. So it's not gonna be exactly like real life, but so I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna make a, and that will be my sun. Now I wanna put rays, so, and I'm gonna color in these, in between these shapes. So I'm just gonna keep going out, and I go through the building. Now we're gonna have to use our imagination, cause it's not gonna reach the sun, but I still wanna do these lines. So now I'm gonna do the same thing here. They're diagonal. And kind of just imagine where they would be coming into the sun. All right, super cool. All right, let's do our sun first. So I'm gonna use my dark orange and I'm gonna color in this main part here. Oops, I got on my building a little bit. That's all right. Now, I know this project is gonna take a while, but you can always do it in two or three parts. You don't have to do it all at one sitting. If you wanna sit down for 45 minutes and work on this, great. If you wanna just do it a little bit at a time, that's great too. If you ever go to a museum or see some fancy paintings, the artist took a long time. They didn't just do that at one sitting. They worked on a little bit and they came back and they worked on it some more. It takes a while to make a nice picture. Now that's why I'm just going fast. Mine are not great. I still have fun with them, but take your time. All right, so here's my son. Now I'm going to do alternating warm colors for the rays of the sun. So I'm gonna start with my yellow and I'm gonna do every other one yellow. So I'll start in the middle here. I know this is kind of hard to see in the video. If you color into the sun, that's okay. If you try to avoid your building, but if you get some on the building, that's okay too. So I go yellow, white, yellow. I'm gonna color in the white part a different orange in a minute. Okay, so that will be orange. So then yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow. White, yellow. Now, I might come back and mix some red in with that yellow because it's super, super bright. All right, now I'm gonna take my orange, the same color of the sun, and I'm gonna color in the other parts. Oops, you can use either. Oh, you know what, that's broken. That's what happens when you press too hard with your crayons, sometimes they break. But don't throw them away, just use a little broken piece. All right, so all the parts that I left white, I'm gonna come back in and do them orange. And 
and you can go over the black line because it won't show up. That's why I use a Sharpie instead of a regular marker. If you use a regular marker, sometimes it doesn't work. But with the Sharpie, you can color over it, but the Sharpie line is so much darker than the crayons, you can't tell. That's why I love Sharpies. Except when you get them on your clothes and it doesn't come out. That's no fun. All right, we're almost done with the sun. Oh, that's right, so, well, you know what? I'm not sure if I wanna do the red. I kinda like it like this. I'll think about that. Maybe when I'm done, I'll come back. It's just like when you do your writing, you're writing a story and you edit it, you finish and you, you stop for a little while and then you come back and work on it, you call that editing. So I will edit my drawing later. So now I'm just gonna use other the purples because I've used the warm for the sun, the cool for the water. I'm gonna use mostly purples and reds for my buildings, but I will mix in some other colors. So I'll show you some different ways to do it. So one way is you can just color over everything. And have those windows be colored in like that. This is the easiest way. Remember, you are the artist. You make your windows however you want. I'm just showing you some different ways. Uh oh, I'll be right back. I'm out of crayons. Okay, I'm back. I had to go get some more crayons. So, as I was saying, you can choose how you want to do the windows. So here I colored over them. Just for fun, I'll show you. Let's see what happens if we color, we can shade in the windows with a Sharpie. And this one, it kind of looks cool if you leave a little bit of white showing. It's like light coming through. So then I can do that. And then let's see what happens if I cover color over the whole thing now with a When you get up by the sun, be a little more careful. So that's another way where they're colored in, or you can just leave them white. You know, that color looks almost too much the same. Maybe I'll try, you know what, I can, you know what, I'll keep using that. Let's see. So I'm gonna color around and I'm gonna leave the windows white on this one. Just to show you the difference, how they look. You can do it however you want. It looks great any way you do it. Now, I can still mix in some blue, so I can have a blue building if I want. So here, I'm just gonna go back to coloring over everything. Just to go a little bit faster. It doesn't really make that much difference. You can do it however you want. You could do this top triangle different color if you wanted to. All right. I'll do my dark blue. I usually don't like to use the black crayon because we use so much black Sharpie. That's just my choice. So I'm just gonna do these, try to do each building a different color. I probably would not, well, I will not make a yellow building because that might be hard to see. You can use brown if you want. Okay, we're almost finished. This is looking so cool. 
Let's see, I'll go back to my dark purple. Remember, you can do the windows however you want. Let's see, what haven't I used for a while? I haven't used, the, oh, I used that one a minute ago. Let's see, oh, let's try this one here. I like how this is coming out. This is in some ways way different than the one I did for practice to show you what it was gonna look like, but it's really cool. I'm gonna leave that a different, make that a different color. So it looks like a little separate building on top. And let's see, I'll choose green for the top. Wow, look at that. That's the one I did for practice. That's the one we just did together. I don't know, I like them both. Well, you did it. Well, we did it. Look at that picture, how it came out. Now you can see I still have some parts that are, I didn't do the color in all the spaces. So I can go back in, now that I'm looking at it, I can edit it. I can go back and I can fix up my little mistakes there or they're not really mistakes, where I didn't finish all of the coloring. I can go back there and color in some more. Well, there we go. As you can see, I love color. I will put this up on the bulletin board so I remember all the fun that we had. I hope you loved it. Put it up on your wall, and I'll see you next time. Bye.